physiological level, my body is experiencing a lot right now <laughs> that I can't see. But that's just the beauty in how God designed our existence and our beings and our bodies, right? Hey, what's up, family and air wealth champions? Welcome back. You're checked in with Amir Nazir. And before I get started with today's video, family, I wish you all inner wealth, which we know is the overall state of our holistic health. And so today's video, family, will be about what the fitness industry doesn't want us to know, right? <laughs> and so before I get started, I do want to express that I'm a firm advocate for fitness, a uh, firm believer, and I'm a student of exercise physiology, which is a specialization in the field of kinesiology, which is the study of human body movement. Uh, but I'm a firm advocate that plant-based nutrition in addition to consistent fitness, it really yields amazing results in terms of our optimal health because now not only are we, excuse me, now are we prioritizing, you know, the uh, physical maintenance and preservation of our bodies, but that combined with what we eat and, you know, food being our medicine, so what we're ingesting into our body, I mean, at that point, you know, you're, you're a powerhouse. <laughs> so I do want to start with that. I'm a firm advocate, first and foremost, for inner wealth, for holistic health and wellness, um, and then more specifically, firm advocate that plant-based nutrition and fitness together is, is it's a true powerhouse, right? And so let's get into what the fitness industry doesn't want us to know. So what the fitness industry doesn't want us to know is that nutrition actually matters more. <laughs> so nutrition matters more, believe it or not. Nutrition matters more. And here's why. Let's say I'm working out consistently. Let's say three or four days per week, right? But I also consistently eat fast food or I eat, you know, flesh foods or I eat a lot of foods that have excess uh, sugar added um, fats, unhealthy fats, I should say, unhealthy saturated fats, because there's a such thing as healthy fats. I'll explain that in a different video. Um, foods that have uh, excess LDL cholesterol, foods that have just excess sodium oils added as preservatives, you know, the whole nine yards, moderately to ultra processed foods. All of those workouts actually mean nothing. They actually don't mean anything because the food and the nutrition that I'm ingesting in my body, that is the foundation, right? So nutrition and food is medicine. That is the foundation for giving our bodies the necessary instructions that it needs to function at its highest capacity, right? So every time we eat something, we are literally giving our bodies instructions on how to operate. We should feed our bodies food, should feed our bodies food that gives our bodies instructions for healing. You want to eat nutritious food that gives your body healing instructions. Because the body, when we feed it what it needs to be fed, will heal itself. But when we give the body what it doesn't need, the body will self-destruct. It will then become dysfunctional. So nutrition and food literally gives our cells, organs, organelles, organ systems, every physiological aspect of our body, um, it just gives our entire existence instructions on how to function, right? And so I could be working out every week, three to four days per week, but if I'm feeding my body McDonald's or Burger King or, you know, again, just moderately processed foods, ultra processed foods, then I'm actually negating all of the work I'm doing in the gym. It's all being negated just because of my lifestyle choice with regards to how I feed this vessel. So our vessels are very pure. Our vessels are uh, really um, important to our overall well-being. So our vessels are our temples, right? Our vessels, God lives within our vessels, right? God in the kingdom of heaven lives within each and every one of us. So why damage such a gift from God, right? Why damage such a gift from God? 
So we should seek to preserve ourselves, preserve our health, preserve our communities, preserve our nations, right? And so I can be, again, working out consistently, but my choice of what I'm ingesting in my body can lead to different results and unfavorable results and outcomes at that. And then when we think about exercise physiology and fitness, after each exercise, sometimes the body's natural response to exercise is inflammation, but guess what will reduce that inflammation? A healthy choice of foods, right? So depending on what we eat before and after we work out, it will literally give the body instructions to either be anti-inflammatory, which is what we want, or pro-inflammatory, which is actually what we don't want, right? So an example would be after working out, eating a fresh green salad or watermelon or um, maybe some plant-based protein rather than you just worked out then you went and ate, you know, a McDonald's fry with a burger. That is going to reduce the body's ability to heal itself post-workout, reduces, reduces the body's ability to uh, also reduce and prevent post-workout inflammation, and also reduce the body's ability to repair and build muscles that you may have just used or worked in the gym. And so again, family, I just want to really hone in that fitness is very important. It is a lifestyle. Um, it is a lifestyle medicine for promoting optimal health and wellness. However, fitness without the adequate nutrition, without healthful food um, going into our bodies, it actually means nothing. So the nutrition literally gives our bodies the instructions it needs holistically to perform every body function or reaction that you can think of. It always starts with nutrition. It always starts with nutrition and what we're choosing to ingest into our body, what we're choosing to feed our bodies. Food is truly our medicine. Food is truly our healing. It is our source of healing. And so I just wanted to really emphasize that today, not make the video too long, but just really emphasize that nutrition is more important than fitness. Now, while fitness is still an important factor in lifestyle, excuse me, it's an important factor um, in lifestyle behavior that is very aligned with sustaining our optimal health. I do think it's important to emphasize, however, that nutrition is more important because the nutrition is what gives our bodies the instructions for every function that you can think of that our body um, that our body goes through on a daily basis, that our body experiences on a daily basis in alignment with circadian rhythm. So even without us consciously thinking or knowing about these things, our bodies, even as I speak, my body is undergoing reactions right now on a chemical on a chemical level, on a biological level, right? On a physiological level, my body is experiencing a lot right now <laughs> that I can't see. But that's just the beauty of how God designed our existence and our beings and our bodies, right? So again, I just wanted to share with you all something that I don't think is emphasized enough in the fitness industry, which is that nutrition truly takes the cake, right? Um, so again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And then don't forget family, before I go, I'm gonna always wish you all inner wealth, which we know is the overall state of our holistic health family. Peace.